measurements for this in American cups. I'll try and um, put on what it, well I don't know what it equals. It just comes out better if, I mean they're not very dear these, you can buy these cup things. I didn't know what they was until recently. A big mixing bowl, grater. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to put two eggs in a bowl and then you're going to do a quarter of a cup of rapeseed oil. I suppose olive oil will do. So it is quite a lot of oil this, but it's spread across 16 buns. So a quarter of a cup of canola oil. Put that in there. A quarter of a cup of semi-skim milk. And then you're just going to beat all that together. And then you can put that to one side. I'm going to do the next bit now. So in another bowl now, a big large bowl, you've got to put in two cups of flour. Now it did say you could put in all-purpose flour and add some baking powder. But I'm going to use self-raising flour and I still might put a bit of baking powder in just to make them rise extra a lot because we like a lot of rare rising, don't we? A teaspoon of baking powder some salt some pepper Mix all that up so it's all nice and mixed in. Mixed in. And then you're going to add a packet of quinoa. Well, it says four cups cooked. This is, um, how much is it? 250 grams of quinoa. Now, I can, you can get that from Aldi quite cheap. It's the food of the day. So I'm going to mix that now into this mixture. My eggy mixture into that. I haven't really got a proper fork thing, I need to buy one of them. Mix that in there. When that's sort of roughly mixed, the exciting bit now, you're going to peel one of these, which is a courgette. <laughs> <laughs> um, in America I think you call it a zucchini so I'm just going to peel that you're going to grate it with your cheese grater into the mix so you're going to mix that in then Feels a bit dry this to be honest with you. I'm sure it's usually a bit wetter than I might tip a bit of water in it in a minute. It said frozen peas but I didn't have any, you've only got a tin. So it's going to have to be a tin of peas. Feels a bit stiff this, I'm not sure why. Don't usually be stiff like this. I think I'm going to risk it and I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in, um, quarter a cup of water. I hope you don't go wrong on video this now. Wish me luck. Right, I've done it now anyway, I've done it. Oh, that's better. It's got a better, that's better. I think I might put a carrot in it as well. See, what's good about this is you can add anything you want, you know, I, I put uh, sweet corn in it as well sometimes. Put carrot in it. That's what I like doing with recipes. I get one and then I just change it and, and then it's nice. Well, most of the time. Give that a good put your carrot in. Give that a bit of a mix. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put some chilies in just because I put chilies in everything. But you don't need to put chilies in if you don't like hot things. I mean, that, that'll be tasty on its own. But I always like a bit of hot stuff. So 
So once you cut your chilies, chuck your chilies in your mix. If you want chilies, that is. Oh yeah. You just want to chop up a handful of spinach, put your spinach in. You know, I'm sorry I can't be bothered moving my camera. I've got a feeling that last time I made this I put some cumin in it, or cumin, whatever it's called. Because I usually put that in everything. Should I go? I'm sure I did. Right, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick in um, a teaspoon of cumin. So next, you need some bun cases, and you know, like if you're making a muffin, and some um, cases, like if you're making a muffin. Now I've got. It says 12, but because I've put extra stuff in, I think it might actually um, end up being a bit more, but we'll, we'll see. Now, while I'm thinking about it, put your oven on 350 degrees or gas mark 4 while you're doing this bit. So, I like to have them all different colours. You're just going to spoon your mixture in your, like you would if you was making a cake. We're just going to fill it up about that much. So there you go, you see, I've managed to get 18 buns out of that mix. So I'm going to put them in the oven now, and I'll tell you in a minute how long they're in for, because I don't actually know at the minute. You know I'm not actually the best cook in the world, and there's a good chance of things going wrong. You know, I, <laughs> you've never seen me cakes. I used to, I'm the worst cake maker in the whole world, they all come out burnt and everything. So I've got 18 of these now, you see how full they are. I'm going to stick them in the oven and then, fingers crossed, they come out all yummy. So I've put them in the oven now. I had to put one at the bottom, I don't know if that's going to have a, an effect on them rising. But I hope not, don't they look nice? finally come out they look all right they look like they've turned out all right oh they smell gorgeous what do you think oh look at all that now you can freeze them you know in fact when i went to detectable that's all i ate i took them and that's all i ate all weekend because i didn't want to eat burgers but they fill you up you can freeze them they're fantastic honestly they really are nice, so I'm going to eat one now, so you can see the pleasure on my face of the special quinoa buns. But I'm going to have one of my quinoa buns. I'll tell you what, I'm starving. I'll put a tiny drop of barbecue on it. I've got to say, I, I do recommend a tiny drop of barbecue. So let's see. Now you feel like you're eating a cake. You see? This is where it all goes good, because you feel like you're eating a cake. I'll be nice cold. I can't wait for it to go cold. Comes out of the paper a bit better when it's cold. Mm. Oh, oh. Mm. oh yeah. Oh god. You get all the happiness of from a cake and you just eat your spinach and carrot and courgette really. I know you've got a bit of flour in there. So I've got i work out how many ways I made six to 18 buns with that ingredient, so I'll split up the calories from the flour and the oil, and I'll tell you how many is in each one. It's usually 112. Mm. Them are well good. You see how light and fluffy they are? Oh, I've just got a bit, bit, big hit of chilli then. Mm. 
10 out of 10. Mm. If you enjoy this recipe or if you're watching this video, I've got a group now on Facebook called Darnella. Um, if you want to join that, we can. I'm going to put the videos on there, talk about other things. Now, I am quite qualified actually to talk about this because I, I taught in a college, well, still do, but I used to teach nutrition. I used to teach nutrition for weight loss as well. So I do actually know what I'm on about. So please come over to Facebook, look for my group. It's called Darnella's Healthy Eating Group. And um, you're very welcome to join and share your recipes.